Okay, in this video what I'd like to talk about is how to program a masked move instruction. Okay, and so the mat, the move with mask instruction is found in your move slash logic bin. And I'm going to pull this up right here. And I'm going to drop this in. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to use uh, 16 inputs being dropped directly to the destination of an output. Okay, uh, with six, 16 outputs. So you can see the perfect flow of this. So to do this, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and quickly set up my instruction here, and I'm you, I'm going to program this at the word level, okay? And so here are my inputs. I'm using the entire input card in slot one. My destination is going to be output colon uh, slot two dot zero so the whole word there now my masks function I'm gonna set up an n7 zero file and this is an integer file where you can store full words here this is the place you should typically in RS Logix 500 store words so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna go ahead and drop this into hexadecimal and I'll demonstrate how this works. So I'm going to type in FFFF here. And this will be the number that is stored in there in binary, which will look like this. So let me explain how this works. So I'm going to grab the input data table file, run it over to here, grab the output, drop it down to here. So how this works, when I have um, all of these ones here, one, all of the data will transfer at the bit level straight down from my input source to my output source. Now, if there was a zero here, it wouldn't pass through. But let me go ahead and demonstrate this real quick to you so you can see how all of that information just passes straight through. Okay, so now, right now, all of my switches here are in the off position. As I turn them on, you can see that whatever switch I'm activating is activating that output. And I can go through and just do a number of them randomly, okay? Because my mask is ones all the way across, all of that information just flows directly down. If there's a zero in the input, there's a zero in the corresponding output. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the mask here. Instead of allowing all 16 bits to flow, I'm going to select the first eight to be blocked. Okay, so I'm going to come down here. I'm going to go offline. I'm going to go back to my N7. I'm going to drop this into hexadecimal. And you could do this in binary bit by bit. This is just a little bit faster. I'm going to say FF00 and I'm going to hit enter. I'll drop this into uh, binary. And now you can see that the first eight here are zeros. So now when I go to download this, these first seven will stay in whatever position they were before. So if these are at zero now, they'll stay in zero. These last eight will still allow it because this zero will block the transfer of data from my input to my output instruction. Let me show you. I'm going to go ahead and download this and then I'll show you how it works. Okay, so now that we're downloaded, you can see here that these first seven are, these first eight are still zeros. And then after that, we have a number of random ones and zeros based upon the positions of their switch. Now let's go explore what happens when I activate those. Okay, so you'll notice the first eight bits are right down here on this bottom. And no matter what I do, none of that data is being transferred from my inputs to my outputs. But on the top, all of all of these operate normally as if these were just directly connected in the system but the bottom nothing and this is a quick introduction into the move with masked instruction which can be useful in specific situations because these bottom eight outputs can be programmed into the system but the top eight in this case which are used for some sequence or something like that they cannot be they are being uh, used by that move instruction where the bottom then can be used for something else
okay, in the program using ladder logic or whatever. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, uh, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like and the subscribe button. All right, thanks for watching.